This is a tutorial about how to go up and down your stairs and protect your knees. A lot of times when we go up and down our stairs, we end up putting a lot of pressure unintentionally on our knees. And a lot of times it's because of the way that the stairs are designed and just habits that we might have. Now, this tutorial will help take the pressure out of the knees and instead move it back into my favorite place, your posterior chain, your glutes. In this case, it's your glutes, your hamstrings, those beautiful big large muscles behind you that are gonna help propel you, help move you up and down the stairs so that you're not putting a lot of pressure on the knees and having your quadriceps, these thigh muscles, overwork. I'm gonna first show you how we typically go up and down the stairs. Now, when we do it, most of us tend to place our foot down and then move the knee quite far forward, right? And then we're lifting ourselves up with the knee in this forward position. I wanna make clear though that all positions are good and all positions are not necessarily bad. It's just the frequency in which we do everything which means that if every single time I'm going up the stairs and I'm doing something like this, with this knee forward position, that, like I said, can create a lot of potential pressure on the knees. So we're gonna switch it up. And what we're gonna try to do first is try to decrease this ang the angle of your shin. So when, you, when I do this, and oftentimes we're up on a tiptoe, right kind of going up like that we're going to try to get that shin angle not so far forward but try to keep the shin over top of your ankles now watch my legs i'm going to go out of the shot a little bit that my upper part of me but that's okay because all you need to see are my lower legs so the first one that i want to do is shift my hips back. You can see how my butt goes back a little bit. And I'm gonna just start, and I actually, I, these stairs are great because I have something to hold on to. If you can do this with a railing at your house or a wall, that's perfect. But you're going to start to, your whole foot's on that, on that, on that uh, stair, hopefully. And then try to lift off, do this a few times. Can you lift off without letting the shin move too, too far forward? I'm gonna show that on this leg and I'm gonna to have to turn my angle a little bit here. So now again, it's all from here, all from your glutes, lifting up, lowering down. Easy way, moving my knee forward like so, right? More challenging, but happy for your knees and better for your butt sort of way is shifting like that. Now when you're gonna go up and down the stairs, you're gonna to start to do it and it's gonna feel a little bit awkward, right? You're gonna to start to you have to do this butt lift position. It becomes like a one-legged squat. Just keep thinking about your knee over your ankle, shift your hips back, and you'll know you're doing it well if you start to feel this whole area wake up. And then that's great. Even if your knee moves forward a little bit, as long as it's not as far forward as it used to be, fantastic.